show for you tonight we got a movie review of Christmas Vacation starring Chevy Chase also a great performance by Carlos Barba don't want to miss that tonight the guy is amazing you'll be seeing that later tonight um, but yeah not gonna be too long of an episode tonight you know pretty simple one um, you know a lot going on in the news right now I'm not gonna bore you with all of it but holy shit Donald Trump huh the guy's still claiming he won the election huh what's wrong with the guy I don't know. Oh, my God. It is a sad day when that guy keeps talking. Um, but, yeah, you know, he's keep um, withholding information from the Biden's team, the new administration of the Biden. He won't give any information, uh, resources, nothing like that. He's withholding everything from um, Biden, and I don't know why. I don't know why. He claims he won the election with the highest um, vote count by 74 million when... Um, Biden, in fact, got 80 million, and, you know, I'm not the best at math, but 80 million, 74 million, I mean, come on now, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you, you know, you don't want to hear about Trump. Um, it's one thing after another, he's holding valuable information from the Biden administration's, Biden's team can't get the resources they need because Trump has blocked all access to the White House and all that stuff, so he's acting like a child, and um, right now Biden needs that information to try his best to get this country back on two feet. Fortunately, it's not happening, so I don't know what's going to happen, um, but we'll see what happens January 21st. We still got 50-something days, I don't know, maybe 60 days, until um, the Biden administration starts to kick in high gear. We'll see what happens then, but hey, if you guys are looking for any last-minute gift ideas for me, I have one. I would like Donald Trump right here tonight. Mm -hmm. I want him brought from his happy holiday slumber right there on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I want him brought here with a big ribbon on his head. And I want to look him straight in the eye and tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, poor flesh and low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, racist, fat ass, bug eyed, skip legged, spotty lipped, Warm headed sack of monkey shit he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Holy shit. Where's the booze? I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's do this stuff. By the way, it took me four days to learn that whole that whole scene right there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're back right now. Um, just want to let you guys know. You know, like I said, a lot of stuff going on right now, especially with the Pfizer stuff. Um, the vaccine is coming out. Who's really gonna use that? I mean, come on. Let's be serious. 
Uh, nobody knows the long-term effects. Nobody knows where it's coming from. Well, yeah, we know where it's coming from, but we don't really know where it's coming from. Let's really use our heads and open up our eyes for a second. We really don't understand a thing about this Pfizer thing, only that it's 95% effective. Let me tell you something. Go right ahead and use it. Me, I'm not going to use it until I see the politicians, the high guys, the rich guys use it first. Once they use it, I'll give it a try. Why not? You know? I'm lucky enough, I'm one of the lucky ones to not have caught COVID um, in the 10 months that it's been out, you know, so, you know, um, knock on wood, I hope I don't catch it at all, and um, I don't know, I don't believe in that, but I notice people knocking on wood when they don't want something to happen to them, so, is that wood? Yeah, it's, it's fake wood, does it matter? I don't know. Um, you know it's moving on. But yeah, a lot of stuff going on, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to bore you with all the news that's going on. But yeah, we do have a great show. We have a movie review coming up. I do not want you guys to miss it. Matter of fact, we're going to start it coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Yes. So that was pretty much a short monologue, of course. And um, we're going to start off with Movie Night Review here tonight. As you heard the song that just played before, that's the old theme song from my old show, uh, Movie Night Review. That was the name of the show. Uh, man, that's what kickstarted this show, you know what I mean? I told myself, hey, I want to do something. I wanted to do something. I'm, I'm a fan of movies, a big guy into the movie industry. And you know what? I did it. I did about 10 episodes, everything was great, I got a lot of feedback, and you know, decided to bring that theme song back for this episode. Uh, most of you guys who've seen my last shows, all of them are on YouTube, go check them out if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I mean, welcome to the show, welcome to Movie Night Review, and here we go. Christmas Vacation 1989, starring Chevy, Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, and Randy Quaid, Cousin Eddie. You guys cannot get better than a film like this, especially one of the all-time great Christmas movies. There's no doubt about it. You know, it's about a guy. All the movies that he's been in, Clark Griswold, has been through these um, these situations where he just can't get out of. You know what I mean? But in this one, you know, he starts off in the movie where he's going to get a Christmas tree with the whole family. Gets to an argument with uh, another driver. Boom. The other driver pretty much throws him off the road. Um, he gets pissed off and... You know, he ends up underneath the truck, one thing leads to another, boom, he flies off the road into the spot where you're supposed to get the trees. Um, that whole scene right there is amazing. It's hilarious stuff from start to finish. Well, non-stop shenanigans, non-stop comedy. You guys are going to be laughing. It's just that type of film. Me and my girl Liliana, we watch it all the time, every year around this time of year. You know, at least once or twice, we put it on the TV, we just play it. It's amazing, an amazing film. Um, a comedy classic, no doubt about it. Check out this scene. Um, never thought the day would come. Yeah, I'm excited about it, too. Yeah. It's a crying shame the older kids couldn't make it. I'll get that. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Let me do it. Yeah, I got the daughter in the clinic getting cured off the wild turkey. And the older boy, bless his soul, is preparing for his career. College? Carnival. You gotta be proud. Oh, yeah. It's Cousin Eddie, man. Cousin Eddie. He actually, believe it or not, he um, he comes back in the next one in uh, about eight years later. Vegas Vacation. Yeah, so that's a funny one right there, too. I'll review that another time. But uh, Cousin Eddie, one of the all-time classic characters in films. I mean, he's just an amazing... The way he brings out this character, the way he like, presents it, it's just an amazing guy. Um... Right now, I don't know what he's doing. I think he escaped the United States. He's hiding somewhere. I don't know. He's wanted by, like, every country. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> we're going to talk about, uh, you know, like I said, it, just some of the scenes in this film were not um, in the script. Like, for example, when Helen, um, played by Beverly D'Angelo, Beverly D'Angelo, um, she actually grabs um, Clark Griswold by the crotch. Yes, there's a scene right there. 
where she grabs him by the crotch. Um, she wanted to get a real reaction from Chevy Chase, and she actually did. I'm pretty sure she got a reaction from the wife as well. Chevy Chase. <laughs> and of course, um, believe it or not, in this film, um, John Randolph, who plays the stepfather um, to uh, Beverly, De Beverly D'Angelo's character, Helen, um, is actually was in that movie um, Serpico. Serpico? Serpico? Yeah, I think I got it right. Uh, with Al Pacino. And believe it or not, Al Pacino is actually the father of Beverly D'Angelo's kids in real life. A little trivia there that you guys didn't know about. Another brain fart, as I was talking about. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, a lot of stuff like that, you know, that a lot of people don't know about is on the IMDB page. IMDB. IMDB page. Just Google it, okay? Just Google it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to another clip. <laughs> uh, hey! If any of you are looking for any last-minute gift ideas for me, I have one. I like Frank Shirley, my boss, right here tonight. I want him brought from his happy holiday slumber over there on Melody Lane with all the other rich people. And I want him brought right here with a big ribbon on his head. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no-good, rotten, four-flushing, low-life, snake-licking, dirt-eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood-sucking, dog-kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat-ass, bug-eyed, stiff-legged, spotty-lipped, worm-headed sack of monkey shit he is! Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? I was rambling there, huh? My God. No, I wasn't on any coffee, but I think this played a role in it. Jack Daniels, yeah. Just a little sip, that's all it takes is to wipe me out. Um, but yeah, like I said, nonstop from start to finish, a great comedy movie for the whole family. I mean, for those of you who haven't seen it, which I highly doubt it because it's been played everywhere. It's like one of the all-time greats. Actually, me and my um, girl Liliana, we actually went to go see it, I think it was last year, the year before, in the theaters, believe it or not. They were playing this in downtown, and we went to the theater, and we actually saw it. It was pretty good. Pretty good to see it again after, on the big screen especially. You, know, you get that very theatrical um, experience, and it's pretty badass. You can't get better than that. Um, but like I said, great cast of characters in this. Even Johnny Galecki. Johnny Galecki? I'm bad at names, so... Thousand pardons and <laughs> um, for making fun of me, because I know you're making fun of me. I know you're making fun of me over there. I can see you laughing right now on your couch, in your car. Like people really watch me in their car, on the sofa, um, in your car. <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I said, just uh, check out this scene right here. I was just browsing. browsing. <laughs> for your wife or your girlfriend? Hmm. What? What happened? <laughs> Woof! <sighs> I guess it wouldn't be any... Oh. <laughs> wouldn't be the Christmas shopping season if the stores were any less hooter than they are. Harder than they are. Woof, it is warm in here. Well, you have your coat on. Yes. Oh, do I? How did that happen? Because it's cold out? Yes. Yes. It is. It's a bit nipply out. I mean nippy out. <laughs> I say nipple. <laughs> uh, there is a nip in the air, though. Can I take something out for you? <laughs> hey, she's hot. She's hot. What am I gonna do about it? I'm, she's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot. Uh, yeah, no, uh, two scenes ago when I showed you the scene where he was uh, doing his rant. Believe it or not, you know, people thought it was, you know, oh, he came up with that and he just said it right there. No, he actually had people with place cards all around him. The whole cast had place cards. He was reading off the cast. Pretty interesting stuff. I mean, hey, they were helping him out. You know, he couldn't, he couldn't remember the whole, the whole line, the whole, um, cheap line, no good, rotten, four flushing, you name it. I did it early. I'm not going to do it again. You saw me before. Anyways, um, but yeah, he couldn't remember it, so he, you know, he had the cast help him out. Pretty good stuff right there. Pretty interesting trivia right there. 
I didn't know that. I thought actually he remembered the whole line. It's pretty hard. It took me four days. Four days to remember that whole line. Holy shit. What do you think about the tree, huh? Huh? Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's better than the Rockefeller Center tree, huh? You guys seen that tree? Look at the tree. Look at the Rockefeller Center tree. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. It's the gift that keeps on giving this year, huh? <laughs> and on top of that, I mean, I got the inside scoop about next year's tree. Yes. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That is the, pretty much next year's um, New, you know, New York Rockefeller Center tree. Um, pretty much tells you how 2021's gonna go, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's, um, not a good sign. Not a good sign. Anyways, but yeah, thank you for joining me on this movie review. Like I said, not too much trivia tonight because, you know, it just doesn't have that much trivia. It's just a regular classic, cult classic film, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You know, you can't get better than this. I'm telling you right now, watch it. Again and again and again. It just keeps getting better. You're going to miss something. And you're going to catch it the next time you see it. Anyways, coming up, coming up next. I'm blobbling all over the place tonight, huh? That's what happens. Little sip. Little sip. That's all it takes. <laughs> little sip. Um, but coming up next. A great performance by Carlos Barba. We'll be right back. you guys to Carlos Barba, an amazing performer, an amazing artist. You guys are going to enjoy this. Take it away.
amazing. Thank you, Carlos, for being a part of the show. I appreciate it. If any of you guys want to know any more about Carlos and all his stuff, anything he's got coming up, check out the links below this video. This guy's the real deal. He's going places, no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of uh, Tonight with Bruce Martin. Once again, it's not a long episode, but hey, it's something, right? Um, I appreciate you guys starting off the Christmas tradition or Christmas vacation. I mean, you can't get better than that. Look at that. Huh? Huh? You guys, you know, I appreciate all the support, uh, all the likes, all the shares, all the subscriptions. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it with your friends and your family. Let them know what's going on over here, okay? And, um, yeah. Next week we have another Christmas movie. We're going to be having Christmas movies all the way to the end of the year. It's going to be pretty badass. Also, another music performance next, next week. So, um, yeah, until then, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you next week. Take it out. Take it. Take it. Take it. Whatever. I'll see you guys next week. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Jingle bell. Big kids, look a deer. <laughs> <laughs>